this is Bing Badger, and we're going to be playing a Matter of Cows Complete Edition. They do have free chapters on new grounds, but the Complete Edition is only $4 on Itch.io. And you get a file folder with all the concept art and some secret tidbits in the game. You know, usual small stuff. So yeah. I suggest buying the full version, but if you don't got the spare money, go ahead on Newgrounds. Want to start a new game? Another awful day in this vile city. Mav- Mavropolis? You know, they say that if you stay here long enough, sooner or later you'll become addicted to the reeking streets, the rancid air, the terrible people. This city and its corruption, its filth, its daily decline. They say it slowly invades your veins if you have any, and becomes part of you. The worst part, my friend, is that it's all true. A gentle knock? Not the kind I'm used to. Come on in, the door is open. A woman enters the office. She is glamorous and f sophisticated, and clearly way too wealthy for the city. She reeks of dead flowers and lies. Good morning. Are you Mr. Gilbert? I don't know if this morning will be good. Perhaps it might. Who knows? But yes, I'm Mr. Gilbert, private eye, amateur occultist, and various other things. Who are you, miss? And what can I do for you? My name's Laura Maligard, Mr. Gilbert, and I need you to find someone for me. It's very important. Long story short, this woman comes from Primaria, a city far away from here. It's a small place, very white and very clean, with nice people, a low crime rate, and other pleasant aspects. She makes it clear that she comes from a very wealthy family and money isn't a problem for her. All of a sudden, my curiosity is piqued. She had a childhood friend who was like a sister to her. Her name is Daphne. Daphne didn't like the quiet, modest life she lived in Primaria. So one day she panicked and moved to Mav Mavropolis. Attracted by promises of success and fame. What a poor, naive girl. Daphne came to the city three years ago, but kept in contact with Miss Maligard. Letters and postcards, she says. But some time ago, her letters stopped arriving at Fermaria, and Miss Maligard became worried. She had a bad feeling, or so she says, and took a trip to this foul city to see her friends, perhaps to persuade her to go back to Fermaria. However, Miss Maligard never found Daphne. She didn't have many clues. Daphne never wrote down her address in her letters. So Miss Maligard went to the police, hoping for their help. Just thinking of Mavropolis police helping someone makes me laugh. In any case, an inspector just told her that they already had a case. Daphne disappeared some days ago. Her disappearance was reported by an anonymous person. With a tip here and a bribe here, Miss Maligard found out that Daphne was working at Trembling Stars, a devious nightclub in the city. The worst part? Daphne is believed to have had a thing with Little Big Bog, owner of Trembling Stars and also a well-known local mobster, which also means the cops don't want to get too involved in this story. That's all Miss Maligard can tell me. So to summarize a missing girl, a shady nightclub, a scared policeman, a notorious criminal. Well, it could be worse, right? Alright, Miss Maligard, I'll take the case. However, when a girl disappears in this city, it's rare for her to reappear. But who knows, perhaps we can still find her. It's simply a matter of cows. A matter of chaos? Yes, a matter of chaos. Not chaos. Chaos. <laughs> Sorry, it's just my motto. One day I'll learn how to speak. Sorry, it's just my motto. Where can I find you when I'll have something to report? I'll come back to meet you. I prefer this way. I try to argue with her on that. But after she highlights that any amount of money wouldn't be too much to find a friend, I suddenly find myself being very malleable. Malleable? Malleable, whatever, to her demands. She gives me a photo of Daphne, and then she and her deathly smell leave my office. Honestly, I don't think this girl's still alive, but what have I got to lose? Let the investigation begin. My office, the place where I work and live. Lucky for me, I don't need to sleep. There's a lopsided painting on the wall and a terrible mess on my desk. It's full of stuff, some of which might be useful. Find the cats out of the bag. It's about a month that I couldn't afford 
to pay Miss Boomish, my cleaning lady. But hey, it's my desk. I don't need to clean and need to be clean and orderly. Orderly. All it has to do is keep my stuff. And well, it's full of it, so it's easier to find what I need, right? Maybe something on it will be useful today. Okay. So. I guess the notepad is the best thing to go with for now. Peanuts may not be vital, but like maybe they are, and that's just to put you off. This music sounds familiar. I don't have much information to go on. All that I know is that about this Daphne is that she's worked for working at the Trembling Stars. Maybe I can start looking around there. Somebody reported her missing. It's probably someone who knows her well. A co-worker? Maybe if I find out who reported the crime, I can find some clues. Also, I can go to the police station. My old friend, Detective Hevney, what is with these names? Hevney could give me a lead. He's a corrupt, inept man, but at least he's easy to corrupt. Like stars first. Molestia the Bouncer? What a name. I know him, he's a muscle mountain with the brain of a squirrel. A rabid squirrel. Hey, you stop there, look. It's Mr. Pertanicles. What do you want? Oh, is there more options? Yeah, there are. Try to charm him, of course. He expands his muscles, becoming even more threatening. You think I'm dumb? No, 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 what I was trying to say is that I think you're not dumb because. Who says that? If I find you say that, I crush you. Look, it's simple, never mind, forget it. Unless he's getting angry, so if I use my mind powers to make him forget this conversation. question around here, purple boy. Bad question. Little Big Bog doesn't like people to talk about him. Stop it. Can you just brush past? No way, pink octopus. One, we're close. Two, you're not on the list. What do I have to do to get on the list? Nothing. I don't make lists. No scram. I accidentally hit the button. Oh no. Hello there, Molestia. It seems you're smarter than ever today. I see you're succeeding in speaking and walking at the same time. Good for you. Okay, little boy. You laughed. Now you leave, or else my fist in your face will become friends. Intimate friends. Hallie, I think he really is becoming smarter, but stop here. I already know the shape of his fist far too well. Teeth is guarding the door. Its chain is a bit too long for my taste, but maybe if I move slowly. <laughs> work. Big mistake, big mistake. Okay, I think the door is off limits for now. Does he want peanuts? Did 
This beast is a rare and interesting specimen. It's a hell teeth. A demon dog creature, perfect to, well, to watch a door, for example. Hi, sweetie. I don't think it wants to speak with me, but my powers let me understand its feelings. It's thirsty. I think it drinks blood, any kind of blood. Even my races. Better just stay away from it. Its chain isn't very short, and it doesn't look all that sturdy, either. Judging by the smell, it must be the bathroom, maybe? It could be of use to look inside, but it's too high up for me. Regardless, even if I could reach it, it would be too small to pass through. busy doing nothing, some miserable people and a lot of dirt. Nothing very relevant. Here I accept Detective Hidden V, corrupt cop I know all too well. Look at who came crawling out of the sewers, Mr. Gilbert. I don't like him, nothing at all. But I know him very well and I know I can obtain some useful information from him. Let's ask about Lola. He shakes his shoulder then makes a lustful grin. Not much. A rich woman from the outside. Rich and sexy. She can. She came looking for this missing girl, Daphne. She bothered the chief a lot, making too much noise. We had to tell her something, and personally, I suggest her to go. Let go any hope. But if you were asking cr these questions, I doubt she did. I said he was corrupt and inept, not totally stupid. Maybe. something about the missing girl, Daphne. She works at the Trembling Stars. So, a disappearance case, eh? Better than your last one, I suppose. What do you want to know? Is she in a relationship? Well, it's an open case. The chief sure doesn't want us to talk about it with anybody. He then grins. But I'm sure we can find an arrangement. As always, this man... I can call him, so is it going to help if I don't give him something? Probably money. You know, Henvy, I have heard a lot about this little big bug, but I have never met him. Could you tell me something about him? For a moment, he becomes contemplative. But just for a moment, clearly he realizes this isn't common information anybody should give me, and that he could give it to me without wor much worry. Not much, to be honest. LVB is a little fish, but not one to underestimate. He has power only over his club. However, he's capable of enacting terrible vengeance, and doesn't forget whoever offends him. Also, he has some connections. connections. Dangerous connections, if you catch my drift. Well, you're useless. Unless I fill this information. It's just that I, um, well, it's broken. I can't afford to pay a blacksmith to force it open because what little money I have is inside it. Even with all my powers, I simply cannot open it. The lock is broken. A hey, paper knife? Jimmy, it open? No?
Someone told me she works here. Her name's Daphne. Mustia looks around warily, as to see if anyone can hear us. The street is empty, but someone like Mustia needs to look around regardless. Maybe I do. Why, you ask? Working for a family. Well, if that's the case, um, better don't say things. But I don't want troubles, but Daphne is nice to me. Not many people here are. I tell you this, Daphne is a very good girl, she's nice and kind, it's always smiles, even when things are not, not smiley. What? Oh my, Lestia does have feelings after all. I see, and do you have any idea of what happened to her? Anything regarding her disappearance? Any clue could be useful. If she's in danger, I can help her. He looks unsure, but in the end he speaks. I don't know too much, nothing to help. I just know like Daphne and... If you really want to help her, I hope you find her, that's all. Asu quickly digs a road towards the lock. Here I hear the sounds of crack. It's open. I got money now, so I can pay the dirty cop. Now I think he'll be chattier. Thank you for watching.